As always, thank you to TCL for sending us this sample. This is the TCL Note A1 Next Paper, and we're going to get to the bottom of this to see if it actually is e-paper, which we already know it is not. But remember, we got a new little microscope we've been messing around with in our studio, so we're going to definitely get into that in the full review, but for now, let's unbox this. So far, so good. The packaging is absolutely incredible. We see, oh, we got some, we got some bumpers. We do. We got some little rubber bumpers at the bottom. Let's see what's in the box first, because I have never used this unit. I have barely even heard of this unit. I believe Mike brought it up at one of our meetings, but pretty much I know nothing about this unit. We're going to unbox it, and then we're going to get into the full review. In a later video, we have to learn it first. Yellow screen cloth. That's a nice touch. Not, I don't remember a lot of e-paper, hmm, I remember, e-paper paper manufacturers giving screen cloths. We have all of our regulatory information. Looks like we have a camera on it. Oh, look, the camera is one of the four bumps. Look at that. One, two, three bumps, and that acts as the four bump. I sure hope that has a pretty good sapphire layer on it. We seem to have, what is that? That's a headphone. Is that a US? Oh, it's a headphone slash USB-C. Oh, oh, right. USB-C headphones, right? Yeah, yeah. You got four microphones, eight microphones. There's no way. Is it eight microphones on this thing? That's insane. We're gonna have to look at that. So we have a USB. This has to be a C to C as per the... Yes, I love this. No negativity towards full-size USB, but C to C is so much more clean, so much more modern. Let's look at the tips before we go to the pen. Before we go to the pen, what do we got here? This slides out or opens, ah, there we go, opens like that. So you get these tips that, oh my gosh, look at that, look. The tips are, it's almost like a dual thing. Look, this is a standard kind of Wacom tip, which almost looks like the same as that one. But then it gets into these conical ones that almost resemble this, which is an Apple pencil on this side. Here, let's bring all of them into the screen. Look at that. It almost gives you two different flavors. I'm wondering, and I don't know because of this bottom metal sheath and receptor, but I'm wondering if this has a certain level of EMR or Wacom. It we do not know the protocols this actually has until you put it to the test. Pen does say TCL right there with a very nice matte interruption with a shiny mirror finish TCL logo. The back eraser is very nice to press down and this whole thing feels like you're you're touching this gridded pixel feel on it. I, I this is it may not be Wacom yet, but this is one of the nicest looking pens in the industry I've seen for quite some time. Pens have been very normal. It takes companies like Pilot and Stadler to make things out of wood and gel for it to be interesting. This one's gorgeous. What a nice, professional, adult looking pen. I like it. Now, for the unit itself, please don't be mad at us, but straight up, that is not e-paper. This is very evident that it is not e-paper because even when e-paper is off, it looks like that. Here, here's a Sony remote, e-paper, looks like that. Here is a Barnes & Noble Nook off camera, put it here, looks like that. That's not e-paper. It is simulating e-paper and we will know when we put it under the microscope, but let's see it for what it is first. Is that the power button? I didn't read the manual. Oh, it is. Oh, that's nice. So we have an aluminum build. This completely clean on the top. The, uh, well, the top slash side, it's hard to really say, it's subjective, has a power button. It has one speaker and... Wait a minute, where are those microphones it was talking about? Oh, they're cut out very subtly on the top there. That's awesome. Even though we wash our hands and we alcohol our fingertips before each shot, this thing is crazy. Look at that. Just by handling the ever so leftover dust on the box and the materials, this thing shows a ton of fingerprints already right out of the gates and we have that USB-C we already mentioned that and we have some pogo pins at the back yeah look at that this has the four things on the side oh it says not for sale okay I guess it's a, a test sample for us but either way other than the not for sale you have a TCL logo and the back oh that's a nice tight back very nice let's do a first time boot up just to see what this thing is all about
So just as a very preliminary example, please tell me which one you think is more e-paper. We have this one, the Sony, or the Amazon Kindle. negativity to the TCL, but absolutely this is not e-paper. You can call it next paper all day long. I think that's a great idea. This is going to be a great note-taking unit that still has the speed and the viability of being a tablet with all of your, your browsers and everything else. It just feels so capable and yeah, this is almost like an iPad, but it's not paper and we're going to get into all that in the full review. This is the TCL a1 next paper we're going to get into all the fun stuff all the intricacies and how this stacks up to the competition in the e-paper world thank you to tcl for sending us this sample <laughs> 